So, this is my first uh, YouTube video uh, of myself, really. Um, and I've basically just been inspired uh, by the guys over at DeadPit.com, who do their own YouTube videos, and by a lot of other the cool people out there, like um, uh, Mad Puppet Death, uh, Rambo Raff, a Rambo fan, um, guys like that. Uh, I don't know if anybody really cares what I have to say, per se, but <clears throat> I just felt like doing these, and I... I could never keep up with a real normal blog, per se, so I just thought this seemed like a more fun kind of thing to do. And, uh, so from the first video here, I want to talk about the convention scene, the spring convention scene, which is pretty much over already. Um, uh, I ended up going to, uh, the first one was the Horror Hound indie show a couple weeks ago. And, uh, that was a pretty good show. Uh, it was definitely a lot, lot more crowded than, a, than it has been in the past, so that's a good thing, I guess, considering the economy and everything. Um, they had some good guests. Uh, Gary Sherman, who played Bub from Day of the Dead, he actually showed up this time, which apparently he has canceled, like, many times in the past. So, that was really cool. Got to meet him. Uh, there was, uh, Ari Lehman the first mongoloid Jason kid from Friday the 13th. Um, he was a nice guy. My only problem with him was that he had really shitty photos available. And I usually, I tend to go for the photos they have. I don't often like to lug around a bunch of shit to have signed. Um, but, so I wasn't really happy with the photo I got from him. He needs some, he needs some better photos, but, uh, Luke Goss, who played the vampire in Blade 2, and Prince Nuwada in Hellboy 2, uh, was there. And he was a really cool guy. Uh, he was pretty cool. We connected on our laziness and desire not to want to get up before noon. Uh, so that was kind of cool. And... Um, uh, John Kassir, the voice of the Crypt Keeper, he was a really cool guy. We got to talk to him a lot. And, um, yeah, so that was a pretty good show. Um, I had two big problems, though. Uh, the first big problem was they had a new thing called Mask Fest, which in and of itself was not a problem. It was cool. It's like... Uh, you know, I have all these mask makers and all these seminars and stuff, I guess, on making masks. And they had some really cool shit and, like, big animatronic stuff. And it was pretty cool. My problem was is that they put it in the main room with everything else. And it took up, like, half of the room. So it seemed like there were a lot fewer vendors there. And I'm just, you know, I just think... It should really have its own room. I don't think it's really fair to the main showroom with the vendors, and I don't think it's fair to the Mass Fest. Mass Fest should have its own room. So that I kind of had a problem with. Um, the other thing was Twilight. Um, yeah, I work in a bookstore, and I'm sick to fucking death of Twilight because uh, I'm a grown man, and uh, so I don't read it, and uh, it's horseshit. Uh, I don't want to cuddle with vampires. I want to stake them in the heart, you know. Uh, and it just seemed like every fucking vendor there had some kind of token Twilight memorabilia, and I kind of hard to believe that anybody that was buying any of that shit I mean, I'm sure there might have been some, some of the guys' girlfriends who got dragged there probably might have gotten some, but g give me a fucking break, you know, that's ridiculous. We don't want that shit. Get that shit out of there. So, that was, that made me kind of sick. That's not Horror Hound's fault, obviously, but, uh, yeah, that did not make me happy. Uh, the other show I went to 
uh, was in the wasteland. Uh, fortunately, I could only go for a day, so I didn't get to, s to see the Christina Lindbergh panel, and I didn't get to see the live Danny Steinman commentary on Friday the 13th Part 5, which would have been fucking awesome, but <clears throat> it apparently was. But I got to see Danny Steinman anyway, and he was a super cool guy, and Slipcase was there, and I got to say hi to Slipcase, and uh, got to see Christina Lindbergh, and she was really cool, and uh, some of the Chainsaw people I hadn't seen yet. Um, but it wasn't, you know, that was more, you know, they always have interesting guests at Sentinel Wasteland, and more kind of like obscure kind of stuff. And this one was a little more mainstreamy, I guess, this time, but... Uh, but that was okay, and um, did some neat swag there. But uh, so yeah, I had a good time with that one too. I mean, all in all, I had a good time with both. Um, spent more money than I like to, but that's usually how it goes. Um, I can show you some stuff I got. Uh, some bootleg DVDs I got at Horror Hound. Um, I don't know how well these will show up, but I got these two um, Dracula and Frankenstein. Uh, bootlegs, and they're apparently, uh, like, Japanese anime versions of the Marvel Dracula and Frankenstein comics from back in the day, so I thought those were pretty cool, I'd never seen or heard of those before, uh, and then I got the, uh, House of Dark Shadows, uh, which, um, they made two Dark Shadows movies back in the day, one was a continuation of the soap, which I've seen very little of, actually. And, but this one is the one um, that's kind of like a retelling, you know, anybody can see it, you don't have to watch the show, uh, and that, this one has Barnabas Collins' vampire in it, so that's really cool. And then, even though Dead Pit kind of didn't love it, I went ahead and got curtains, because, um, fuck, it's got a killer doll and John Vernon, and, and that's good enough for me. Um, of course, I haven't had a chance to watch these yet, so I may regret them, but who knows. Um, and the only bootleg, which I don't know where I put it, uh, which is troubling me, uh, <laughs> is I got a bootleg of a German disc of Frankenstein and the Monster from Hell, which is a Hammer movie starring Peter Cushing. And I got that because it's uncut. Uh, and the one released over here is not. It's missing a, uh, a little bit of gore, so... Uh, I've been wanting to get that for a while, but, um, so yeah, I got some stuff, and I got a, po I got a, a Alice Sweet Alice poster, a uh, theatrical poster, without any of the alternate title, titles on it, it actually says Alice Sweet Alice, so I was happy about that, and, um, yeah, so I got some good stuff, had a good time, uh, got to meet Christine Lindbergh, which is like a dream come true, uh, so I can't complain, and, um, so, hopefully, uh, you guys will check this video out, and I want to do some more, like, actual, like, DVD-type updates, like Mad Puppet Death does, and, and um, you know, but I just thought for this first thing, I'd talk about cons, and uh, hopefully uh, you find it interesting. Please leave some comments, uh, good, bad, whatever, you know, uh, just let me know how it is, so uh, thanks for listening.